right. You're not an idiot. Are we actually going to have this in the podcast? Imagine. Have you got the run? <laughs> cricket, cricket, cricket. Bats, bats, bats. Balls, 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 balls. Birds. And then make like a... <laughs> Welcome to the second season of Sporting Woods presented simulated online cricket competition cup even. Uh, <laughs> this has gone about as well as we thought it would, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, uh, we are back for a second season of uh, online cricket using the Cricket 19 video game. Uh, the boys from Sporting Woods. Last year it was COVID-19 cricket or COVID cricket 19. A uh, bit of a switch up. This one we're going to be calling from now on Simulated Online Cricket Cup. That's right. Sock. S-O-C-C. Uh, I've got it myself here. I've got myself in the booth here tonight with uh, with Tim Stanton and Michael Vilkins. G'day. And who are you? Oh, I'm Luke Gold. Uh, Guys, just before we started, I thought I'd be excited to share with you. Check this out. I am wearing my... Oh. Simulated Cricket Cup. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> very That's, nice. It's a very and hard you can, knock. And you, you could expect more of that gear uh, uh, throughout the can season. I, uh, can I touch the... Oh, touch sure, yeah, try it. Oh, ah, <laughs> ooh, ooh, shouldn't have got a cloth one. Ah, <laughs> it's such hard sounding cloth. Damn right. Yes, it is. Uh, it's that time of year. We're all excited. We're, we're back with another another great season. This one, so much more professional. Oh God. Oh my goodness. And Can- the listeners will be able to tell from the outset. Yes, very much so. Yeah, we're we're just excited to be back, ladies and gentlemen. And viewers. Oh, and viewers. And viewers. And viewers. To our viewers. Of course. Yes, yes. As you can see, some new teams. Ooh, but we're going to get through that. We're going to kick it off. You know, we've got some uh, some new some new information to provide before we get into the competition itself. Tim, do you want to start us off, mate? Yeah, I'll start us off. Let's get through the housekeeping so we can set the stage and get into the to the real show. Like how's that? But housekeeping. Do we yeah. does he have to be here every game? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. I, we might have to make a rule. Yeah. Um, 12 teams. That's right. Uh, uh, in this competition. So we've had an expansion. Great feedback. A lot of sponsors wanted to get on oh. board. And we thought, hey, we're going to be loyal to our original, original sponsors, sponsors right. who have been there from the start. Um, but we did allow some teams to be bought. Yes. Um, but with no sponsorships available. So they will remain anonymous. That's right, yes. Throughout the competition. They wanted it to remain that way to their integrity or something. It was something along those lines. I don't know, mate. They didn't want to be labelled on the tape. That's right, that's right. So they're they're here for the purity of it, you know, just just getting the sponsors' names out there and uh, and just supporting good old-fashioned cricket. And that's that's what we're here for. The big news Mm. is the Mad Kents. I said Kents. Yes, that's right. They're my favourite team. What's the big news, Tim? They have been removed. That's right. What in now, disgrace? Now, no, hang on, no, 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 not disgrace. Nothing disgraceful about what happened with the the Mad Kents. The decision was whole, wholeheartedly myself, my my own. Uh, the decision being made to uh, give myself an, a level of impartialness uh, going into this season. I found myself becoming too attached to my boys, the Mad Kents, um, and uh, as such, I felt. Yeah, I needed to take a step back to become the true conscious objector that I required to be uh, as a commentator. So, uh, so, what's happened to the players that played on that team? Well, they're still well, in the league. We will get to that. They will be. We will get there. We will get there. Apologies to the listeners and viewers. <laughs> for for the time being. Speaking of players, we will say obviously an expansion. We're up to twelve teams now. Obviously, COVID uh, restrictions have been relaxed to an extent, uh, and that's meant that we've been able to bring in a few international players into the competition. Very exciting. A lot of big names, Tim, that uh, we're able to get. Names. Yeah, look, I mean, just really excited to have them on board. Um, each team being able to, to take three international players each uh, to put into their team. So you should see them around the, uh, the barracks. Make sure we're looking for signatures. Uh, make sure you, you, you get one next time you see uh, Shika Darwin. In the street. The lawyer from Melbourne. Make sure you get a signature off the boy. That's what, that's whoa, what I'm talking whoa, about. Whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm new to watching yes. this fancy that is cricket you. online sim. What is this? What are we about to watch? This is some sort of... You guys are playing a game, well, right? Like oh. a video game. 
Well, we're playing through a, uh, an Xbox. Uh, the Xbox playing the game Cricket 19. Uh, through that, we right. created these these wonderful teams through a draft system. So um, just you two picked them, or do you no, have actual human beings? We have them? eight eight uh, team owners. You can't uh, well, twelve. Twelve team, team owners. You can't eight twelve of which, people for the- Eight of which have been uh, willing to be named. Uh, yes. Of of the other four, wish One. to remain nine. Nine, yes. R- <laughs> wish to. Yeah. I love. I love that. <laughs> uh, let's get back on script, Michael. Uh, but cricket, yes. I've got. We're, we're playing another another season of simulated cricket, so the the rules are pretty simple. Uh, it's a T twenty format, um, uh, but because of the constraints of uh, time, uh, we will be playing the first five overs and the last five overs of each innings. But the, you got no one's holding a control. No, this is computer this is, playing the this actual This is sheer games. stats v stats. One versus zero. You know, like we want to see the that what what has the so, game got? We want to yeah, push it to its limit. Stats. It's not That's someone's right. bad at the Xbox game. That's right. right. It's just pure That's computer right. v yeah. computer. That's right. Humans have picked the teams. But the teams being picked by humans. I finally understood. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Very good. So let's talk about it. So as we said, there has been a bit of a change. Obviously, twelve teams coming in. It has meant that we had to do a bit of a reshuffle in the format. So last season was a round robin season um this season we've gone with the more traditional world cup style of the pool a and the pool b um so that's obviously meant that we've split these two the 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 pools up the top two teams from each pool will go through into the semi-finals and then on to the grand final uh tim do you want to walk us through the teams as, as follows yes so as we start in pool a we've got the two new teams the bayside brown snakes and the brisbane firehawks yeah Owners wish to remain anonymous. Mid Thanks right. Sir comes back for his second season uh, with Jimmy B. Uru Poobadoos are back as well uh, with team owner Juzzy T. The Revolution, uh, Benny G's team. That's right. Uh, big, big raps on the Revolution this year. They're Power looking rankings. to go all the Look way. At that. And Dogs of War Dane rounds o. out uh, Pool A, owned by Dane O. As we move to Pool B, some familiar faces and some new ones. That's right. The Wonder Balls, owned by Michael Vilkins. Now, oh. fans from last season's uh, hashtag COVID Cricket 19 will remember that the, the Wonder Balls were sold to team owner Otidab. That's right. He has uh, been sacked in disgrace. I, we can say that. It's not alleged. It's not. There's no alleged. There, Absolute There disgrace. was an incident and right. OT Dab had to give up the team and That's Michael right. Vilkins has taken the reins again as leader of Wonderballs. As far as I was aware, it was- uh, I wanted was a, to stay anonymous. I thought I was one of those. No, you're no, definitely not no. one of those, All especially right, since you, you you won. If, from what I heard, you won the team back from OT Dab in a- Is it a bubbling contest? Uh, yes. That what, yes. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's just good to know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how one wins a bubbling. You can blow the biggest bubble. <laughs> that's, yeah. Duh. That's that's what I meant. Golden Nuggets. That's right. Uh, Lost in the grand oh, final. They're, last year. they're looking to go one further this that's year. That's right. Yes. Uh, owned by Jesse G. The Bag Raiders. New team into the competition. Alex Jones, former Sporting Woods podcast member, uh, is on board for this season. That's right. Um, the Roma Gamecocks. Yes. Owned by the Backyard Cricket Association. Yes, yes. A conglomerate of the BCA uh, out of Roma have uh, have come together to get behind one team. They're only allowed one team in the competition. They've gone with the Gamecocks. Uh, great choice. Great team. Uh, lots of great sponsors coming through from from the BCA from the as well. Area. So bringing a lot of a uh, lot the of money. BCA are real people playing real cricket, but in I know backyards, it's it's right? less cool than this. I know, Obviously. but. But it is that is true. Yes. Don't yes. forget to follow them on Facebook. You can the BCA. That's right. Uh, and the last two teams in round in Pool B are the Gorilla Jetpack Attack. Owners wish to remain anonymous of the Gorilla Jetpack Attack, and the defending champs, the <laughs> LT Grey Chinos, are back to defend their title in. Simulated online cricket. Gone with the new logo this uh, this season. New too. logo, looking slick. New jerseys. It's there's so oh, many it's all new little things here. That's right. It's you know there's a lot a lot to get excited about uh, for simulated online you, cricket. You can you can say who the owners of the Gorilla Jetpack Attack are. It's Pauline Hanson. We can what? <laughs> when did she? Oh. Oh. They wish to are remain not gonna, anonymous. Okay, I mean, okay, okay, they okay, wish okay. to we, remain anonymous. No, 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 it's no, no. P. Hanson. Oh, yeah. sorry, uh, Pauline H. Pauline H. That's right. Um, one, 
It's got a lot more time on our hands. That's right. That's each right. each pool plays each other once, so we split it into five rounds. And one uh, introduction this season is themed rounds. So we've yes. got a list of themed rounds. We've got superhero rounds because we were unable to buy the rights for insert superhero company here. Major spot. Yes, yes, that's right. Latin Knights round. Oh, I'm well, really looking forward to Latin that, Knights. Some great jerseys there. Retro Unable round to is get back. The rights to Spain. That's right. Retro <laughs> that's round right. is back. And also women in cricket round. That's right. Um, enters into this competition. Big so we'll out. have jerseys for the for the rounds for the rounds. That's right. That's a we've nice also, touch. We've also got a brand new segment. Hit for a hat. Look, oh, you want this, to talk us through now this? Now, this is, this is exciting, guys. Uh, one thing that uh, was lacking in the first season of this uh, this wonderful game of ours uh, was uh, crowd interaction. Now, of course, first of all, we've got to keep in mind the COVID uh, restrictions, so there will be less people in the crowd this time around. Um, so, you will see that there will be patches. So that's, uh, that's social distancing coming into the fruition. But in the meantime, we have got, yes, the hit hit for, what do we call it? Hit, hit for, for a, a hat. hat. Hit for a hat. Yes, I've read the run sheet. What? No, what a brilliant <laughs> setup. Well done. Hit for a hat. Yes, that's what I meant to do. Hit for a hat. So hit for a hat. Basically, we've uh, put, put it onto the field or as close to the field as possible a well-priced family SUV. Uh, a nice shiny yellow bugger. Uh, there as a competition winner for whoever, one of the batsmen, whoever they may be, if they're able to hit the well-priced family SUV, they will win a hat. So that's good. I think that'll be good. That's definitely something that uh, they want to see. Is this a real hat or a simulated hat? No, this hat? is a real hat. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's a real hat. So we'll be sending the lawyer from Melbourne a real hat, Shigadawan, if he is to hit uh, one of the one of the one, one of the well priced family SUVs at the ground. And it must be noted that the well priced family SUV will be donated to a charity that's of right. that player's choice that's right. after it's been hit. That's right. So, so it's a um, really, really nice gesture. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah. If you're a cricket player in real life and your avatar in this game hits the car, mm-hmm. send us your real life address. <laughs> and we will send you a real <laughs> life hat. All right. I win, think win. that lists off all the the new parts of this That's right. yep. uh, competition. Oh my god, is this really happening now? We we're, are we're, we are we're there. Into Seconds it. away. Now, it's as exciting. mentioned before, the 12 teams got together and had a wonderful uh draft, less controversial than the first uh, one. lots we considerable. Say. Yeah. And out of that, we've got some winners and losers. I mean, we've got to start with the highly controversial Bag Raiders. Yeah, the Colombian Bag Raiders. They so, have new team in the competition, and uh, Tim, you've um, you've taken. I'm not quite sure what the word is, but you've taken uh, apprehension at least. At great exception. Great exception. Great exception to some of the choices made during the draft. The Bag Raiders have mm. raided yes. the former LT Great Chinos. Five <laughs> members. I feel like you should have seen that coming. Five. It's true. Five of people the from reigning team last champion year. LT Grey Chinos yes. have been drafted by the Bag Raiders. Uh, they are looking uh, to continue that Chino magic through this season. And I tell you what, the Revolution again, very highly strong. touted. I they mean, are the best team on paper. Let's let's go back to Pool A because, of course, that's where tonight's games are going to be. As you can see here, the game has already provided us with power rankings. Yes. Um, which we will quickly go through. As we can see, it runs Crankings. down the standings in the crankings. Uh, the Revolution, as you've said here, uh, tipped as number one in the Pool A draft. So, that's like, right. big expectations on the shoulder, um, especially considering, yeah, that uh, Huru Pubadu is out here to prove something. Uh, in six. So it's all on the money, especially in the beauty of these types of competitions, Tim and Michael uh, is uh, less Michael, but mostly Tim. The is uh, it's just how much these games mean each week. Each time yes. a game is played, everything is on the money. There are only a selected few games during this competition. So you need to make the most of each and every game. I can see the revolution of playing in game three and game four of pool A. Do you think that's going to have a negative effect on their? Uh- well, now you'll see as I push through. No. There are equal amounts of games in uh, in the ground for everyone I just to meant play. Backing up. Oh, you think from a backing, backing up, perspective. up perspective? Okay. Well, look. I mean, I guess that's something we'll need to talk at at that stage. At that point, at later. the game. But I'm I mean, ahead of myself. You really you are. Really are. You really are, Michael. So, who invited him? I'm not a wait and see kind of guy. No. You, you, well, sure, would you like to watch that game tonight? To yeah. Frank. Okay. All right. We're going to be frank. As long as I can continue to be Luke. All right. So the draft. The Bag Raiders and the Revolution come out on top. The big losers are the new teams, the Fire Snakes. The Fire Snakes, the fire snakes the fire and the Brown Hawks. And the Brown Snakes. 
drafted so poorly. That's our sport a tribute to the Sporting Woods podcast. It Don't really forget is. to listen to Sporting Woods podcast. That's right. Yes. Um, What's that podcast called again? Sporting, Sporting Woods. Woods. Wow. Um, <laughs> ain't that some shit? Some very highly questionable drafting from both teams. But that's right. Hey, is, look, they've it's, made their it's choice. Ones and zeros. You never and know you're like you in a big know city. What's going to happen? That's but right. I am looking forward to these two dark horse teams, both in Pool A. Dogs of War and Mid Thanks Sir. Mid Thanks Sir went for a full blown team of all rounders. All rounders. They've chosen Their team all rounders. All all rounders. I think it's all rounders and a wicket keeper. It's basically how they've drafted. So very interesting, interesting by Jimmy. Tactic. Look, Jimmy B's uh, had a history of. Um, Interesting choices when it comes to playing these types of things. Uh, friends of the show will remember. Um, but look, it could be a masterstroke. He's trying something different, you know? He's he, And that's what we want to see in this competition. That's Someone right. trying the hand, trying to do something a little different. It could pay off. So, yeah. And the Dogs of War have put together a seriously good team this now, season. Now, the power rankings of the pool don't suggest No, it, no. They're, they're not going to give him the, the merit deserved. I, I think. think the Dogs of War are smoky in this in this, in this yes. competition, at least in the in pool A, very much. Speaking of teams, who do you reckon is going to take it out entirely? Who's going to win the big bonanza? Well, have we got a really big hat for them? I'm sorry, I should have all these thoughts before we were win. on the live and <laughs> They win a cup. Um, a cup. Oh, they win the cup. That's sense. right. It's the simulated online. Cricket they win. Cup. The, they win the simulated online cricket cup. Wow. Yes. I. Yes. My complete. My completely unbiased opinion as owner of the LT Grey Chinos. I have a Revolution Chinos grand final. Ooh. I think I'm shooting that his sounds shot. Pretty biased, the season okay. hasn't even started. There's, there's, what are your boys paying on the tab? Well, insert I mean. insert gambling <laughs> here. Um, <laughs> LT Grey Chinos aren't being heavily favoured, but they will have a target on their back. That's I, right. I know, and the boys will be ready for what gets thrown at them in Pool B. Mm. Um, but I expect a very successful season. Uh, in the simulated online okay. cricket cup, Michael. What about yourself? Who do you th- who do you see making grand final day? Well, as the who's going to drink out of the, s- the, the 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 simulated online cricket cup? Oh, I wouldn't wouldn't want to drink out of this bad boy. Hmm. Um, as the newly outed owner of the Wonderballs, uh, I put together the team. I backed them a hundred percent, and I think they are the teams that should have been in the grand final last year are going to make it this year. So I'm going to go the Wonderballs versus the Golden Nuggets. Okay. Ooh, it's going to be Michael so you B think, versus Jesse G. You think the Nugs are going to go back to back grand finals? Yep. Back to back grand final losses. Uh, yes. In fact, yes, I'm going to tip my own team. <laughs> so, the, the what win. I'm hearing is, boys, and this this speaks volumes to my point, because you both have asked me who I think will be the winner, and I have decided. You're possibly the only uh, person that can make an actual call being an objective. Viewer. Correct. So, I, with that, I have decided. Not to, uh, oh, to to exercise my, my, my choice. Boo. I want to just see who goes, you know, I want to watch the, the pageantry play out. But it is fascinating to see that you've both tipped your teams to win the, the cup. Can you imagine if we didn't? I mean, I mean, yeah, that's a fair point. But- I picked Tim's team too. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, you got to be confident. That's true. you gotta, you got to shoot your shot and get on that front foot. And that's what we like to see in... Uh, simulated online cricket cup. So it, how can you get involved as the as the listener slash eyes viewer viewer even eyes the viewers with the viewers you can get on on the Twitch. Obviously the Twitch handle is sporting underscore woods underscore podcast. Uh, we will also be playing these on YouTube, so you can be watching this game right now on YouTube. Uh, so we're just sporting woods. If you're already watching on YouTube, stay where you are. Yeah, just just sit. All right, just in, just enjoy it, would you? Uh, in Twitter, you can find us at at sporting underscore woods. And finally, let's let's throw some hashtags up there. Let's put our gang signs up there, guys. Hashtag S O C C or hashtag sporting woods. That's what we would like to see. Now, before we get into it, Michael's already pointed it out in the matrix of the draw mm. that's listed here. Cricket nineteen for whatever reason. Uh, splits it into two rounds. We have split it into five in a traditional round robin style. So it will be played as listed. That's right. And we will be highlighting the feature matches and match of the rounds. But to start in this competition, we will be playing all three games in the first round of oh, yeah. the simulated oh, no, online didn't. cricket cup yeah. in round one that we are calling. The introduction round. The introduction round. Introduction round. And we start the first game. I'm so excited. Of simulated online cricket cup Finally between did. the Brisbane 
Firehawks and the Bayside Brown Snakes. Hold on. Luke, one added feature of this competition is that each game there will be a perpetual trophy up for grabs. Mm. Tell us what the winner of the Firehawks and the Brown Snakes are playing for tonight. Well, this is the the, the, the cup that they will always play for. It, it could be a cup, it could be a shield, it could be anything. And in this game, the Firehawks will be playing the Brown Snakes tonight. They're playing for the NRL's 17th team license. Huge. So this is huge. Stakes. This is a massive stake, guys. They'll always play for this whenever they meet each other in any competition going forward. Until as such, I guess, one team does get in there. But uh, either way, this is this is who gets over the line. A you know? game of cricket to decide the next professional rugby league team. Scenes. Absolute scenes. And that's what we're going to be playing for tonight. So, I mean, chuck it all on red, baby. Here we go. Let's, Let's do this. Let's get into it. So, as we have a look at the teams Ooh. and the team lists. Yes, we've got a se- uh, 73 for batting for the Firehawks and an 81 for the Bayside Brown Snakes. In the bowling stoke stakes, uh, the, uh, t- the the Firehawks have got them uh, as far as bowling is concerned and in the fielding as well, 77 to 73. But overall, they couldn't be any more evenly matched, both with 75 apiece. So do we have to make our calls now? None of us own these teams. Should we be like... I'd like to have a look at the team sure. list. We're going to have a look at the team list first. Uh, before we we get to that point, first of all, we're looking at the jerseys here. So they will be playing in their first. It is the introduction round. They will be playing in their traditional uh, jerseys, uh, first eleven jerseys. So you can see here for the Firehawks and for the Brown Snakes. There we go. Very good. And we will be playing at the home of the hosts of this uh, this competition. Uh, El, Ch- El Tigre Chinos, being that they won the competition last season, they will be the host. However, we will be playing at all the grounds uh, th- throughout our uh, illustrious uh, competition. All the favourites. All the favourites are back. Maple Leaf, Darren oh, Sammy. Sammy's back. Jid and Barham. Yeah, beautiful. But being that they are... The uh, you know the, the winners of last season, the first game will be played the home of El Tigre Chino's cricket, Eden Gardens in Colcutta. As Col- you can see Cutter. before you go forward, it's a balmy twenty five degrees overcast day. The wind going forty four kilometers an hour directly upwards. <laughs> well, how do you think that's going to affect the play today? <laughs> I'm just seeing a lot of skied sixes. Yes. You know, uh, yeah. I can only help. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at the the lineups for the tonight's game. Uh, Tim, run us through the Firehawks. The Firehawks line up as follows. Angelo Matthews, controversial pick at the top. Yes. Uh, we, we've already mentioned their draft situation was quite poor. Opens the batting with Alex Ross, of all people. Jono Wells at three. Charlie Joachim in at four. Seb Gotch at five, wicket keeping. Stuart Broad. At six. At six. You know they're, they're bowling. They're <laughs> they batting. bowl deep. They, they bowl deep if Stuart Broad's at six. He will open the bowling. Joel Paris at seven. Will Sutherland, the all-rounder, <laughs> at eight. Nathan Lyon, the GOAT. Um, huge pickup from the Firehawks. Right. He's in at nine. Mustafa Zerrahman is the captain. The prized possession of the Firehawks. Everybody and loves will Raman. open. That's everyone bad. loves Raman. Open the bowling tonight. And Jake Reed. Uh... In at 11, Lucky Pfeffer misses out tonight. Yes, and for the Bayside Brown Snakes, they'll start off with Jake Carter at one. Shika Darwin, uh, the lawyer, lawyer from Melbourne. The lawyer from Melbourne, Shika Darwin, in at two. Uh, Will Pukowski at first drop. James Pearson will be in at four. Wicked keeping as well for the team. Uh, Ra- Ra- Ravi Jadeja at five. Cameron Valente, six. Dar- Daniel Worrell, seven. Garinda Sandu gets a run. I mean, this is this is a redemption story if you've ever heard one. Well, look Garinda at this Sandu. bowling lineup; is all redemption. That's right. We'll here. get into it as the game goes on. But Garinda, Garinda Sandu gets a run. Luke Feldman, NCN at ten, and Lasith Malinga opening the bowling and the skipper uh, with Caleb Jewell running the drinks in tonight's feature. Now, who are the umpires for tonight? Uh, we have got, if we just bring it over here tonight, we have Michael Vilkins. Oh, shit. What? You're, you are uh, You're tonight's get, umpire. Gotta you got to get, oh. get down on the field, mate. Oh. And uh, and friend of the show, pericarditis, the uh, Southport, Southport out, out of Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. That's right. So let's get into it, guys. I'm so excited. I, this new feature of having the umpire mic'd up. Yeah, massive. So we'll, we'll so be Mike's, going Mike's to run down, throughout, yeah, throughout the He's evening. run down to the, to the field right now. Um, he should have enough time. Oh, he's, he's j- okay. Yeah, the microphone right, is working. The- <laughs> I was going to say. All right, that- I'm going to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't go to the toilet, for God's sake. All right, you can cut the tension with a knife. 
Just before we start, if you don't understand any of these jokes, uh, don't forget to listen to Sporting Woods Podcast. That's right. Available where all good podcasts are also around. <laughs> if you can sift like through the good, good ones. podcast there, we will also be there. Find, Just scroll down. Find the bottom of the barrel of the good ones and there you'll find us. Under S for Sporting. I mean, yeah, that's... You're not wrong. No, you're not. You? And don't forget to get... That's why I'm umpire. Right? Don't forget to get involved in the Twitch chat. Yes, huge. Oh, we'd love to see that. Obviously, this season we're going to be, uh, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be in there typing away. Um, you know, in this season of uh, of Sporting Woods, uh, sock, I should say. Um, but yeah, definitely get involved. Lots of fun to be had in the in the uh, in the chat. Shout out to old friends AJ Nine Wood OT Dab. Oh mate, what uh, was old mate? Suck me off. Suck me off. Oh my god. Skeeta skeeter. Did leave we have a, some fun? Leave us a comment on YouTube. Maybe we'll pick our favourites and right. send you out. I don't want to say we'll send you a hat, but it's very likely. Try Ooh, it. What's the worst Perry. that could happen? The T20 World Trophy. Here we go. This is what we're playing for. This is what they're here for. The T20 Eden Gardens, Kolkata. Let's get to the toss. You can see the lineups there that we've already gone through. Umpires, Michael Wilkins, pericarditis, overseeing today's play. And as Michael has pointed out, Nice Conditions 25. are oh. perfect for a bit of swing bowling and some six hitting. Low humidity for India. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, must I mean, say. this is the time of year, as we can see there. Traditional stare down. Look at look at the uh, <laughs> lot of lot of makeup on Lasith there. And here we are, the toss. Who will win? Wow. The and Brown. the Bayside Brown Snakes have won the toss. What will Malinga do? He's having to think about it. <laughs> And they're going to have a bat. They're going to have a bat. Wow. The brown snakes. Remember where you were, boys. We've, we're, we're witnessing history. Vitality Maybe. Investments Insurance. We've forgotten to give them. They're the stump uh, major sponsor. Sponsors. That's right. All right. Well, here we go. Oh, this I can't is believe it. You got here. As pericarditis hands over the white ball. Get excited. I think they could have brought their own ball, but... <laughs> I'm just saying. Had to give yours up. They've got a lot of money. All right, here we go. First ball coming up. Are you on coke? <laughs> <laughs> yep. oh, I'm just excited. Oh, look at that. A big... And we are underway. And you can see the, the well-priced family SUV in the corner. There he is. It's early days. But we're going to say that's what they'll be aiming for tonight, Tim. Perfectly placed for that cow corner shot. Yes. For the right hand. That's right. Yes. I hope Shigadol. we see you get hit today. That would be a great start. Wouldn't that be? Simulated on like cricket. What, what's the atmosphere down at ground level, Michael Wilkins? Uh, this one comes we're busy in. playing a game of cricket here, Tim. Uh, everyone's excited. Oh, shit. I should be watching this. Yep. Oh. Flicked oh. off the pads there. Shika Darwin. They're looking for two the here. Mark. They'll get it easy. That's an easy two runs there. Look, uh, three off the first two balls. A nice opener here, you got to say. There's Duroflex. The mattress company for men gets... Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they're just... They're for women too, I guess. <laughs> it's an early run there. Waiting. Yep. Oh, they're going the cheeky single hit. Oh, on that custard arm. Oh, it's a direct hit. But he was well, well in his grounds there. I think you find the mattresses have a special divot so you can lie face down. Ramen coming in for his fourth <laughs> delivery. Oh my God. He loves ramen. <laughs> Plods that into the on offside. Yeah, quite a boring shot there, boys. Yeah, well, you, you can't win a you can't win a game on the first over of a T Twenty, but you can lose one. To, uh, on earth, I mean, sure. You are I'm the just, umpire. I'm just here to umpire. Yeah, you, you're not you're not meant to know, Michael. Can't Wait. flip a coin and get heads, but you can get tails. <laughs> no, don't. Just go focus on the bloody game, would you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, this guy stops clapping in my ear. Last ball of the over here for Rahman. First over in simulated online cricket cup. Oh, shot. Carter gets that away. The relative unknown. Four runs. 
Solid start by the Brown Snakes here yeah, at that, Eden Gardens. I'm pretty happy with that one, got to say. Let's give a bit of a shout out to the uh, the crowds, uh, the uh, stadium sponsors. Change of bowling. Um, here, of course, Pepsi, uh, Tata, Borange, and Oppo. Yes. Thank you for their continued oh, support. Lots of support from uh, them. For Sporting Woods. See, rocks off the back foot there. No run into the covers. Tim, um, obviously these teams didn't do real, all that well in the draft, and that that must have been disappointing for the uh, for the conglomerates that are. Oh no, not the conglomerates. The the shadowy figures that own the teams. Yep. Oh, as he That's rocks great. back and Shikadar one just eases that through. Wonderful shot there. But uh, look, do, where do you expect to see these two teams? I mean, you know, in this competition. Well, if you have a look at the team lineup, especially for the Firehawks, I mean, Angelo Matthews and Alex Ross at the top of the order, yep. you don't think they're going to be scoring a lot of runs. So you'd be looking to take wickets early uh, for the Firehawks. But if they don't, they're going to be in huge strife in this competition. Mm. So. <gasps> oh! oh, I thought he had I bowled was, him. I thought that was a bowl. I... No. Oh, oh now. Oh, here we go. Umpire early. Michael Vilkins with the not out. Decision. decision. Are they going to review it? Guys, I'm going to be honest. I was busy listening to my podcast. But no, nah, I'm just going to Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Talk us through your reasoning yeah. for the not out decision. I was busy listening to my favorite podcast, Sporting Woods Podcast. Oh, uh, but, uh, but that'd be why. it was. It's definitely not out. And that's why it was a good decision, Mark, wasn't it? Uh, look, I called it not out and I stand by it. I don't really care what... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'd say, nah. Michael, nah, you, don't, no chance. you don't know the rules, do you? I, I, I know... I mean, it's not out. Uh, it, it, it's no, no, nah, it's not out. Well, I'm glad that you yep. were able to get to the bottom of that. Oh! And our first Montreal mishap. The inside edge. Oh, this might be close. One, gone oh. for two. The throw, <laughs> he's thrown to the cut, the cutout man uh, from the from the deep there. Shout out to the Montreal mishap. When it hits the stumps, it's out, right? Uh, yeah, traditionally, yes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. They gave me a book before today. And was it a cricket book? There's a lot of rules. We're there. Now, Stewie Broad, um, batting at six. So he's, he's a genuine all-rounder in this team. Um, and look, you got you got to admit, if you have to choose an all-rounder, I mean, he's obviously a bowling one, but he's bowled well here. Six runs off the first over so far. He's just got to tie this one up here. Yes. Oh, just as I say it, the first long handle of the year, uh, and that is four runs. Shikha Darwin going to business nice and early. So we can see there the crowd socially distant, uh, which is always good to see. We're keeping it COVID safe, even as the, uh, you know, the, as the restrictions ease. Look at that second ball there. Jeez, that was a fair bouncer, wasn't it? But spanked mm. by Darwin. Yeah, so well played he there. He looks the goods tonight. 13 off eight so far. So we come into the third over. <gasps> Waiting. The batting lineup for the Brown Snakes is quite an interesting one. Mm. A lot of a lot of people there with things to prove. Some heavy hitting uh, international. Yes. Oh, 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 oh wait, now what has happened there? That looks like an edge between keeper guess, and first slip. They're going to say leg buys. Pericarditis has given that leg buys, and I would here we go. We're going to watch this again. It's oh. come off the. The, the what what's that? The, the, the thigh pad. He did that in the practice game. I thought he meant bend me over your leg and spank me silly. <laughs> it was a very awkward car ride home. Thank you to Mr. Carditis for the ride home. <laughs> I'm regretting giving him a microphone on the field. Yep, gotcha. Oh, steps into that one and he's got it over the top. That'll be four runs. Thanks Carter. to our stadium sponsor, Pepsi. The relative unknown, they're just showing the sponsors some love. And uh, oh, this that is a lovely gonna be shot. The start of my media career. The project, if you're listening, <laughs> I am very available. How is your mum? No, <laughs> she's what I call the project. <laughs> the 7 p.m. project. <laughs> oh, 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 Tim, your mum's the 8 p.m. Yes, yes. 7:30 report with Carrie Britton. Oh. I'm going to take my mic off now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to focus on the game. Wait. Oh, and that's the first no ball of the season. Uh, 143 clicks. He's he's really pumping them through here. And we've got the first free hit. Here we go. Will 
we see a hit for a hat. Oh, it could be here. I'm excited for one. Early on, can you imagine? Short cover here for a free hit. I don't know what they're thinking. Yep, gotcha. Yep, he's... <laughs> Yep, he's, he's given the right where, where a deep cover would have been. And, uh, well, a great start, you have to say, from the from the base side, boys. Um, for a team like the, for the fire, fire, I nearly said fire snakes, for the Firehawks, who, as we have pointed out, bowl deep. Uh, this is a very disappointing start if, I, if I'm the, own, you know, the owner of said team. Base side, boys, sounds a bit uh, exclusionary, yes. if I'm honest. Have you thought about a general neutral term like Bayside Bitches? Hello? Is this <laughs> Sorry, I just I just walked out of the box. What, what's uh, happening? I got a sandwich. I mean, I missed that. Did Michael speak? All right. And at the end of the third <laughs> over, the Bayside Brown Sakes, numb for 32. Stuart Broad giving his second over here with a short mid-wicket. Plenty of space on the leg side. Oh, well shot. Bowling edge. Two here. No, jeez, he was. He spent too much time on his back foot there. Uh, as as Michael is is just throwing shower thoughts into the air on on live live television. Live television. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed. This is a very long game. <laughs> a lot of time yep. to think out here. Oh, he's gonna get that over the top. He will again. Shikadar one is not messing about. That'll be another four. They're putting together quite a little nice. I mean, look at that run rate over ten and over. If they keep this up before the simulation, it might carry on. That's true. Through those simulated overs. He's, look at that front foot. Nowhere near the ball, and he still managed to pump it for four. Damn he, levers. Again, still a short mid-wicket here. I don't know what they're thinking here. Real the tight up. Yes. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Just work that off the pads for one run. Rotating the strike, making sure that Carter is given an opportunity with the bat, which he's using 15 off 12. You can't ask for much more from the young man. The relative unknown. Firehawks desperately need a breakthrough here. Waiting. Oh, just nudged onto the onside. Yeah, look, if you've got to take at least, at least, I want to say two wickets before the simulation. You know, that's that's what you're aiming for on an average day. Anything more is a bonus, of course. I feel like we're almost at the end of the fourth over. There's only been maybe one or two dot balls the whole innings. Mm. Bonus. Dot ball pressure in these T20 oh. games. Oh, I should have been watching that, shouldn't I? Yeah, oh, definitely. Keep an eye on the ball, Michael. Village Roadshow, proud sponsor of the Bayside Brown Snakes. Came out of liquidation just to sponsor yep. the team. That's even funnier because William Hill is one of the other major sponsors, no longer a betting company. Darwin, again... Long handle. He is in some sort of form here mm. tonight at Eden Gardens. The Brown Snakes really want this 17th license. Coming into the the Firehawks look for some answers from Joel Paris here. Yeah, with a run rate over 10 already, nearly 11 and over. Now, we oh. are in this fifth over. The Bermuda Triangle That's right. I've got of overs in the hashtag COVID Cricket 19 or the simulated online Cricket Cup. Some strange things happen. have happened Anything in this fifth happen. over that have changed the outcomes of games. So let's see if they can build some pressure and take a wicket before the break. Oh, oh look at that oh, swing. Oh, you, you said that the conditions were conducive to swing bowling and that one, that went away from the left-hander. He will be uh, buoyed by that. Yes. Oh, and that one stays straight. And uh, Carter just takes full credit for it. Watches the ball all the way to the bat. That's four runs, and the carnage continues. Thanks to our sponsor, Mesh Grading. <laughs> Tata, Borange, Oppo, and Pepsi, all sponsors of Eden Garden Stadium here tonight. Hashtag Pepsi. I don't think you can just hashtag Pepsi. Hashtag Tata. No, you... Yep. Oh, oh what a... Straight through. That'll be four. That's four again. Oh, oh, no, he's well. I mean, whoever that young... Jo oh, they all thought about a third. Whoever that was there. The simulation and I can have a dart. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part of all of this is, boys, uh, I Wait. will say in the, uh, in the break between competitions, 
I practiced a lot of things on this uh, this this format, but I did not practice a simulation. And that's the way we like it. <laughs> I can tell you the right now. The last ball before from- the simulation. <laughs> oh. oh. All right. Viewers from uh, earlier this year's competition of COVID Cricket 19 will remember the simulation was a source of contention because of the uh, buttons hit incorrectly on the <laughs> Xbox often resulted in either skips too far or skips Change entirely out of Oh, we get to miss the, the goat! Coming on to bowl. That's disappointing. Well, that would be a very exciting thing to watch, but <laughs> it is time for the simulation. Okay. And today's simulation break is sponsored by... Today's simulation brought to you by the Tata Group, the multinational conglomerate. Ah, Tata, the multinational conglomerate, just like Grandma used to make. Luke, your thoughts on the first five overs? Well, I mean, you've got to say that the Bayside Brown Snakes are well and truly on top. Both batsmen on 22 runs each um, and no signs of getting out. So you would expect going into the next 10 overs before the simulation that... Yeah, they'll just continue on in this in this frame of, of mind. What would you expect as far as a score total would be? Would it be a, what they'd be looking for at this stage, going into Gi- I guess going yeah at the end of the game. Given yeah. given that their batting lineup is quite short, mm. I think one eighty would be something mm. that is definitely on the cards here. And you know what? They would back themselves in. I think anything over one sixty, given the batting lineup of the Firehawks. Yeah. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's begin the, the simulation. simulation. Oh my god, I'm gonna stuff this up. Watch. Hit A. Oh, I'm so nervous. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh. Well, look at this. So Jake Carter, the relative unknown, 62 off 50. Will Pukowski, I mean, Shika Darwin did not go on as we thought, but Will has picked it up where he's put it uh, put it down. 37 off 25. Let's join him back on the action, Tim. The- Let's do it. Jake Carter is this year's Is he the Baxter, Baxter Holt? Holt? Oh my god. If he can turn a up. Century in the first match from the relative unknown. Yep. Oh. The script has been set. And he has eased that down. Can he get it? Well, he's well and true. I oh I wanna say he'll he'll say that he meant to to to, to play it down that way, but uh I don't think a fight a third man, uh it's a region that we wouldn't have anybody down there at this stage in the game. And he's just eased it down there. 66 off 51. Oh, that's got to be close. That's got to be close. And yeah. okay. Oh, Michael. He's given him. Wow. To be honest, I only saw it after the players yelled and, you know, I trust him. Well. Oh, and he's going to review it. He's going it. for the review. He doesn't trust Michael. He saw that you were listening to podcasts. We're going to check the front foot now. It's well and truly a, 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 a valid ball. I don't think there was any bat in this. Are you going to be embarrassed, Mike, if you got it wrong? No. Nah. <laughs> it was nowhere near bat. So I think no we can you on the edge, right? we can rock and roll through here. Now the question is, was it going down leg side? I think that's the uh, that is what he will be hoping. Here. And look, it was a big swing towards the leg side, so. Hard to gauge from these sorts of pitches. We will have to wait. Oh, mate, this might... It might go umpire's decision, perhaps. Potentially. Potentially, but we're just going to have to wait and see. And the reverse finching Mm. of Jake Carter, if this is given (laughs) out. Oh! I think think that's hitting middle and leg. I reckon it would clip some sort. I'm going to say it's going to clip leg. And we will go with the umpire's decision here, Michael Vilkins. Oh, geez, this is close. Getting what one last look at it. Here, Here we, we go. go. Oh it's impacts in line. Oh. <laughs> oh, you gotta feel hard done for the kid, but that is out. Yes, that is hitting leg stump. And let's stick with the king, baby. Yeah, no, Michael remains un- untouched. 66. Not a bad start for the young fella Jake Carter. I've got to be honest with you. Just don't like the Bayside Brown Snakes. Wow, controversy shooting, shooting before the end of the first <laughs> innings of the competition. Corruption runs riot. <laughs> this is just a in the umpiring channel, isn't stakes it? in simulated online cricket cup. Yeah, commissioner commissioner yeah, allegedly oh. might have to step in what after comments made on field by umpire and team owner Michael Vilkins. Yeah, it's really not often that you see the corruption in real time. 
You know, but it's not we, corruption. I'm not being paid. Uh, oh, doing, what are you doing? This for the love? It's a free country. I can say what I like. What do you think about the firewalls? I love them. <laughs> I got a twenty on a back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. And that's the decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor Jake Carter was trying to be this year's Baxter Holt. Couldn't do it. Geez, that would have been. He's, he's leaving room for the Firehawks to pull someone out of the fire for the Baxter Holt award. Is Michael Vilkins on the take with the Brisbane yep. Firehawks oh, conglomerate? Oh, potentially. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. You've no, heard no, it first. No. Maybe. Maybe you need to go see Specsavers, the proud sponsor of the Bayside Brown Snakes. They've got that field out on the on the leg side. Oh, yeah. and he's. They're going to go the single. Oh, it's a missed, field. missed field. That. Look. Like they got that special brown eye sponsorship with Specs, don't they? <laughs> that's right. But that's a poor run in the end because that brings Pearson back on strike. Pekoski is the hot hand. Pearson struggling to get off the mark. Change really need to push the runs the here. As the big the money man, man, everyone loves Mr. Rahman. They're going to keep it. They've kept him on, on ice for these for the two overs at the end of the game. That is that is bullsack but from the team. They have brought the run rate back. And a lead. Now, is that going to be a wide? Surely. Yes, pericarditis. He's having none of that. And he says, bowl that again, Sonny Jim. I need to see it again. Yep, got it. Oh, just flicked off the pads. But into Jimper. absolute space. They're looking to run two. A good throw here might be close. Oh, a direct hit. I reckon he's gone. Oh, Pearson, lucky there. They brought that run rate back though, nine and over. Yep, got it. Beautiful shot there. Just the one, or they look for two. They're gonna go two. Oh no, this is gonna be close. He's throwing the wrong end. It doesn't matter. I think he's just safe, but he's throwing the wrong end. Oh dear. Tim, we uh we saw one one sixty was a real good score in the first season of uh, COVID cricket nineteen. It'll be interesting to see whether that run rings true in the second season. The pool of players has mm. been opened up. So That's there right. may be some less quality if, if teams are able to make some inroads. That mm. was something we didn't see in last year's competition. Yep. Catch it! That's beautifully flicked off the pads there by Pekoski. He's looking really good at the start of this year's competition. But... You go, you go. I'm no, you don't want to hear what I'm going to say. Mike, are we, we're, we're just going to go down. Maybe we could get Mike to commentate it over at some stage in the uh, the competition. On field. On field, yeah. Uh, maybe maybe in the second innings. Be over. Yep. Oh, that, that is a sneaky little run here. Yep, he's he's gone the double fister. Uh, there to, to make sure <laughs> two hands for it's beginners instead of just doing the little, uh, the little kick onto the, the soccer onto the stumps. I just wanted to do my little promo and say if you've been pitching to the wrong end, go to Specsavers yep, and ask it. for the brown eye special. It's Pekowski Specsavers. gets that one away and that boundary sponsored by Borange. <laughs> also, I uh, Kerry Packer, get this bowling. shit off my the television. Is coming off into my the network. Uh, shades. Shades. <laughs> Jake Reed into bowl here, is second over. Three to go. Yeah. Interesting tactic around the wicket. Everyone back on the leg side. <laughs> yeah, an interesting one there. But I mean, look, it was just the one run. So if he's if he's going to go for singles, you know, it gets the run rate down. But still, it's one fifty four. I don't yeah, know. I don't too think late the Firehawks have it in them. You got to you got to be looking for uh, for wickets. And they're at this stage, they're looking like they're just they're just content with ones. It's not a bad idea. Six runs is okay. But the problem is, is that you're opening yourself up to three, four singles and then a four, maybe even a six. And then suddenly you got that 10 run over again. And that's the uh, wonders of T20 quick mm. cricket. One ball, uh, one bad ball in and over can really change the outcome of the game. Mm. Good dot ball there. Over 17.3 for those playing at home for the first yep. burp. <laughs> I tried so hard. I know you did. <laughs> You've been practicing. I have. I've been doing internal burps. I've actually had quite a bad case of uh, yep. I've indigestion. 
a cold fart. Oh, is that? I've been farting a lot more, guys. Internalizing my burps. That's why I asked we move down to the open field. Yes. I did think it was a bit strange when we asked to be downwind. No, wait, upwind? It was weird that you chose downwind. Yeah. Wind getting Ooh, directly. I like it worse. <laughs> <laughs> the 44 clicks. Ah. Look, they've managed to tighten it here. Two overs to go and that run rate back down to eight and a half. They'll be happy, but they're, yeah. Yes. Continued on that line of bowling, though, as he's... Great shot. Jeez, that's a great shot from Bukowski. 47 off 29. Looking to try and get himself a bit of a big dick energy play of the of the game. Uh, nice and early, I see. Hey, that's a Sporting Woods reference. Yeah. Yes, you've done very... What are you, fucking... Where's Wally? What's no, going on? I'm listening on? to it right now. Oh. <laughs> Five stars. Yep. Are we Uber? Bola! <laughs> you rate the podcast. Oh. People can do that. I know. That's what that's what I know that you were marketing yeah. for it and Luke oh, wasn't right. there for the marketing. Most meeting. most people rate our podcast. Eh. Is that I don't know how that like fits on. Rating. We know where you live. <laughs> so we highly suggest you give us five stars. Wait, yeah, not wrong. Another dot ball. They're pegging it back here. Pearson has really it's been, the, yeah. been unable to get it going here and The Ra might, man. It might cost Bukowski a bit of momentum as well. Shouldn't we have a... Oh, there he is. Waiting. Oh, and it's just dropped short. Nice fielding in the end, but... Gosh, you'd love one of those to go to hand. He's, they need it. Yeah. Oh, oath. Oath. <laughs> oath. 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 He's kept a bit in the tank. You can see there, down there, though. Yep. And that has split the gap. Back with a square leg. That'll be four runs. A like Jimmy now getting into it. Jesus, that is not where that ball should have gone. That's almost a Montreal <laughs> mishap. <laughs> almost no hits towards the well priced family SUV tonight. Oh, well, the uh, first game jitters, maybe. You know? Yep, catch it. Oh, no, this might be. No, on the bounce again. Oh, they're looking to run too, but he's already. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Might have fallen over there, Pearson. I yeah, think. a little trip, maybe. Maybe that was Michael. Did you you would you were down there? Did you see the trip, or was it? He, or did he dive? It was intentional, my friend. Oh, oh you tripped him. That's a dive. Oh, right. Okay. Good Last gear. over Made here. Sorry. Read on. I thought we might see the goat. We are goatless in yeah. this game. We'll have tonight. to find out how he bowled in the midsection because, and I'm sure, oh, yeah, they'll keep it to two here. Oh, look uh -oh. at that run. Uh -oh. A big throw here. No, he's got a custard arm and he's died. <laughs> Ball is halfway back and he's like, just to be sure. So we see the cap there from the uh, lovely caps. You'll see a feature, different caps uh, in this, uh, this season of one big complaint SOCC. from uh, yeah. yeah, cancer cancel uh, cancer uh, COVID cancel cricket nineteen was the lack of hats. That's right. So there'll be plenty more hats in this season. Uh, big wide brimmer there from you, Mr. Michael Wilkins. Nicely, nicely done. Just look at that shot, Will Pukowski, He's going to get stranded here on forty eight at this rate. Jimmy Pearson fishing the strike. <laughs> Are oh, they going to run two? Is he going to do the thing for the... No, he's going to give Will a chance here now to get that 50, which would be a real, real good story for the young fella and for the uh, the Brown Snakes. Looking to vie for that 17th licensed spot. Yep. Oh, and he's done it. Look at that. What a way to do it too. Scoops it over the top of cover. Four runs and Will Bukowski becomes the second player of the season to hit a 50. Look at that, showering in that. Very happy there. The Bayside Brown Snakes. Look, the owners will, will be pleased with this display. We said 180 was a good score, and they're well on track to be getting that one. Two for 180, 170, yeah, six. Oh, what a lovely dot ball. Was that a slow ball? It was 125 clicks from Reed. But then again, that might be his stock ball. Last ball prediction. Michael Vilkins on field. What do you suspect here? Quickly. I, I reckon he's going to smash it. I hope he smashes into the stumps. Yep. Oh, plays it. Beats the man. Oh, they're going to run two here. Here we go. And he's out. He's got him. Oh, he's done the he's done the right thing by the uh, by the team. Yay! And been given out. Yes. Michael, talk us through that one. 
Uh, always going to go in favour of the Firehawks. Uh, even if they missed that one, he was always going to be out. Oh, all the diving it's that's happened to tonight. To we've seen so many. Here we go. You're not even looking, Michael. Yeah, it's that <laughs> Whoa. Can we get some sort of review? Oh, what is this? A rear view? That's what I'm doing now. <laughs> You're joking me. Why are we seeing that? I told you. I'm back in. I heard it. I heard it. Run out. <laughs> like an explosion walking away from an explosion. Oh, dear. Will Pekovsky, though. Take a bow, my young man. 53 off 33. Couple Remember of big six. Were, boys. That's right. Let's see where the, uh, the well-priced vehicle was in no way, shape, or form worried where by. Oh, there it is on the right. There it is on the, the right. There you go. All right. As we head into halftime, we have a sponsor for our halftime show. Michael, take half -time it away. Halftime show brought to you, as always, by stadium sponsors, Tata Group, the multinational conglomerate. Ah, Tata. Say Tata to your company one last time before they're swallowed up. Speaking of company that gets swallowed, Tim, can you get your mum to stop texting me while I'm at work? She knows I can't text back, and if you tell her if she keeps it up, she's going to have to pick up her own zinger box tonight, if you know what I mean. Tata. And that concludes the umpiring and media career of Michael Wilkins. Screw this, I got Peter Hellyer's number. I don't need this shit. <laughs> Off to the project you go. How is your mum? As we're seeing some of the highlights, oh great my start God. to the innings. Shikadar one on fire pre-simulation, obviously gets out. During the simulation, we had a reverse finching. We talked up uh, Jake Carter as Luke's having a mental <laughs> breakdown in the corner. That's, Jake Carter was very... going to be this year's back to hold. We mentioned it. Oh. He got out next ball. Controversial umpiring from Michael Vilkins. Controversial comments made by Michael Vilkins. <laughs> Didn't even watch the last. Uh, the last Didn't even uh, watch the stump, last uh, run, out. run out. And here we are. Here it is. So controversial. I made like a hundred bucks. Very sensible decisions. <laughs> So we can see the the scorecard there. Jake Carter, 66 off 52. Will Pukowski, 53. The GOAT took the, the, took the lawyer. The, he did. Caught behind there and a final ball run out. Controversial again uh, there. Do we have a look at the bowling or we've moved no, on? No, we're moving on. And as we move on, we have a brand new segment this season. It's the Juzzy Team Music Mashup. Change Fans of, of last year's show the remember Juzzy T phoning in for attack. music requests. Luke, mm. your challenge tonight. Mm -hmm. The lyrics are What About Me by Shannon Knoll okay. to the song tune oh. of oh. Life at the Outpost, Send Your Love to Stop a it. Cowboy Man. Take it away. Oh, God. How does the song start? Um, oh, shit. Uh, what About Me? Um, it, it's, what, give me the first line. What about me? me? It isn't fair. Oh, you want to just... Oh. Yeah. Okay, all right. You want to do that? Oh, okay, oh, no, right. No, no, the first line of what... what of the song. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, what about me? No, I've forgotten. The, is, no, I can't do it. Uh, what about me? Uh, no, no, it's gone. Give love to a cowboy man. Give love to a cowboy man. Okay, all right, yeah. Uh, what about me? <laughs> he isn't fair. Uh, uh, I, can't, I can't get what about me and out of my head. That includes our mashup of what about me to the outer... Life of the outpost. Life of the outpost. As what get, about me? As we get back into the cricketing dun, 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 Those are two pretty incompatible me. songs, I must say. Might even be different time signatures. No, nah, man, I'll have another go. Just give me a bit of time to think about you it. There's a little boy waiting at the corner of the counter, counter shop. shop. That's the start, yeah. He's been waiting out there. Something, something, something. We were robbed. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Flavor saver. Oh, wow. Okay, well, not Australian a great idol. start. That's okay. Plenty of more opportunities throughout the season. But meanwhile, the game has started, and it's been an excellent over from the, uh, from the Brown Snakes. They're really looking to imprint themselves on this competition and on the 17th uh, license of the NRL. Lasith Malinga wearing too much face makeup, uh, bowling. bowling exceptionally well, going with none for one. You really have to, even after the first over, you really have to question none the draft truth, strategy though. of the Brisbane Firehawks. That's right. Angelo Matthews at the top of the order, definitely not a top of the order style player. Yeah. He can Matt. sock a few dingers. Oh, and there one, there's a, a dinger. So there's a bit of confusion on the run out, uh, running, but... Not required in the end. Lovely four. 
What about me? Yeah. Yeah, well, it isn't fair. Da da dum, da da dum. I've had enough, so I want. want my share. There it is. Yeah. There you go. There, there, there you go. It is. There you go. Michael, you're you're commentating. Sit down. <laughs> oh, oh, and this looks plumb. Love no, that is just swing. That was all wow. swing. Give your love to. Joaquin can't believe it. Typical Terry from the uh, Baseline Brown Snacks. It isn't fair. I've had enough and I want my share. There it is. Can't you see? It's a me. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Take it back, it's got legs. And Alex Ross scoring the runs. We thought Matthews might be the man to uh, sock a few dingers early on and try and get back that 17th license, but it's Alex Ross. Lovely shot there. Eight runs now. And look, NCN, they're going to look to target. They couldn't get Malinga away. They're going to need to go hard here, though. Yep. And he's he's done it again. Another four. Alex wow. Ross. Another four. Another big pull shot. He's, he's just got to go. You know, there's no, no nothing else they can do at this stage. The sponsors will be happy so far. So much pressure on these two mm. to score runs. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want the likes of Stuart Broad coming in at six being someone that you have to rely upon. Not that he hasn't done it before, but you don't want it to be the case. Yes. Oh, yeah. and another four this runs. Might be four. Jeez, what an over. What a what a clap back. After none for two off the first over. Absolutely. Oh, and he's 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 just shaking out the, the wobblies now. Not a great shot. That's absolute genuine edge, but it's just going to run down to third man for four runs. Borange getting a, a big old uh, holler. Don't forget our Eden Garden Stadium sponsors, Tata, Borange, Oppo, and Pepsi. <clears throat> yep. Catch. Oh, well and truly getting him in behind that one. And he's giving himself the strike. An excellent decision there. Alex Ross, he's the hot hand. Just, uh, oh, and <laughs> there you go. One for the over. <laughs> on the last one ball, yeah, one on the shoulder, on the last ball of the over. Michael, I just, I just don't think you know Change the rules to this game. Oh, dear. Going with the medium Correctly assumed. <laughs> well, Feldman here, again, another un another uh, forgotten man of uh, Australian cricket. Hasn't played shield cricket for three years, yes. but finds his way <laughs> on the Bayside oh, Brown Snakes. Yes, nice oh, the policeman well. from Townsville. He's had, he's had a... Some fine form in the warm-up matches. Yes, yeah, looking that. to translate over into this season's competition. <gasps> oh, oh yes. and he's wrapped that onto the thigh there. No run again. A good clap back. Look, Ross has. It's a game of three different three overs here, isn't it? We've had one very tight one, one loose one, and now Feldman. Go I noticed as well. There are uh, each each over. Each uh, over has been bowled by a different bowler, of course. You know, not, not going back for a second one there from uh, from Malinga. So, an interesting decision there from the skipper. I mean, there is such high stakes in this matchup. Mm. You might want to leave Malinga till the end and bowl three yes, out, yes. maybe the 16th, 18th, and 20th. Mm. But it, maybe it won't even get that point, get to that point because Alex Ross is on fire here. Oh, Perry on the loves leg that. Side. Look at that. He's he's giving his love to a cowboy man. Perry Card Artist with the mustache. He's been working on his cricket rules and umpiring mm. uh, uh, flair as well. Some some new boundary celebrations yes, for God. him. Oh, and again, Alex Ross. He's seen he's seen Shikha Darwin pull this off at the start of the innings and thought, I'll do him one better. I'm going to get in there. He's been given the opportunity to open for the Hawks, and that is a textbook cover drive. Wonderful shot. A lot of faith. Shown mm. in Alex Ross by the Firehawks conglomerate. Yes. Um, 26 off 12. Angelo Matthews, one from five. Lots of fishing here early on. Wait. Yep. Oh, Ooh. thought about a four. Thought about that quick single to get back on strike for the next over. Really wants that, that strike, does he not? Yes. Uh, Michael, what's the conditions like down the field? Does it feel palpable, the, the tension? It's quite humid, if that's what you mean. Well, humidity was 33%. Yeah, that's oh, good. That's <laughs> very humid for Michael, apparently. I'm, I'm spritzing down here. <laughs> they make us in wear that, these in that musky thirty-three percent humidity, <laughs> twenty-five degree. Mate, I've got a very low tolerance right. for humidity. Yeah, clearly. Angelo Matthews looking to go with his partner here. <clears throat> oh, that's wrapped him on the pads. That's got to be close. I don't know about that one, boys. I don't think he's going to give this out. 
Oh, oh well, wow. this looked absolutely wow, plumb. that was plumb. What's going to happen here? Malinga's Sandu, is it Sand? No, it's NCN. Oh, they're not going to review it. Well, how, we what happened here, Michael? Talk us through your reasoning. I reckon, based on my gut instinct, didn't hit. Umpire's call, so he's going to say that it hit, hit outside. Out. Nowhere near it. <sighs> hit outside the line of off stump, therefore not out. Pukowski will be filthy. Carter. Oh, Carter, sorry. Not Will Pukowski, I should say. Carter, yes. Let's go Firehawks. <laughs> oh, he really has got a 20 on him. Yep. Catch! He's split the gap there nicely. That's going to be four runs if it runs. Yeah, it will run away. No. Oh, no it's holding up. Who's going to get there first? Oh, I think no, no he stepped you. over no, the line. Yeah. Oh, he did. That's four runs. I've got a 20 on them, but they're giving me a hard 12. <laughs> Hello? Is this thing? I think my mic's broken. Hello? I just ducked out again, boys. So what happened? Yep. Oh, he's gone for the Yorker. And the one run, that he'll take that, though. That's not, not a bad outcome. The Firehawks, they're going to need to build something special here going into the, uh, the simulation. Well, they're on target here. Yeah, but they've got to keep on target. That's and right. that's the consistency that I just... The batting doesn't... I don't think yeah, has has the legs. But Oof. we will wait and see. Again, just falling short. Seen a lot just fall short in this game. NCM. Well, Coulter Nile is their second best bowler here. Yes. It, it's, it's not good signs here if they want to get that 17th license for the NRL. Yes, touch! Oh, lovely shot. That's been a has been a choice shot of the night. The uh, overcover uh, slog. Uh, always love to see that. The crowd's getting around it. They're loving it, and uh, that'll be the end of the over. So we will head into the last over before the simulation. The Firehawks on track here, number thirty six off four. As the police officer from Townsville gets his second over here, Luke Feldman, Angelo Matthews. Waiting. Oh, where was that short, short cover? Needed that right there. Now, Matthews, funnily enough, was the second overall pick. Not the second round, the second overall pick for the Firehawks. They had Virat Kohli, Steve Smith, mm. yep. Pat Cummins, and they've made, look, Joe Root. They might have seen something or maybe there was something in the... I mean, we don't know anything about the owners, of the shadowy owners of uh, this team. Maybe they've got something that they uh, we don't see, you yeah? know? Well, he hasn't shown it yet. Seven no. from 11. No, they won't be... They it's won't all be Alex Ross at the moment. <laughs> yes, yes. Catch it. Oh, what a shot. The gap again. That is a just a spectacular shot there from the Ross man. Sponsored by Tata. Yes. Thanks to all our stadium sponsors who are back for a second what season. A Tata, Borange, Oppo, and Pepsi. And don't forget the uh, on-field sponsor, Sporting Woods. Sporting Woods podcast. The original right. and the best. Just like to remind everyone in the pitch here that if nobody hits the well-priced family SUV in the hit for a hat, no charity gets the car. <laughs> it's true. It's a very good point. If you uh, had to... It is to... morally wrong not to hit the it's SUV true. for a hat. If you were to hit the car, where would you like to uh, to hit the car? Like, if you, where, where do you think would be best to hit the car? Look, I'm a bit of a stickler for, like, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, grey areas. I would love hmm. it to twing the antenna. Ooh. Just scrape it. Wait there. Yeah, but visibly, like I want a boy. Oh, you want like a, I think that was a, uh, that was a bounce ball. As we go into the last ball before the simulation. Yes. yes. We just had to check there, ladies and gentlemen. We went to, had to, had to make a little stop just to make sure we were getting wrapped up in car chat. A fairly uneventful yep. oh. fifth over. As he's eased that over the top. A point there for four runs as we go into the simulation now. Lasith Malinga, we will miss him coming, coming in for his track. second over. As we head to the simulation brought to you by... The second simulation... Thank you for asking, Tim. The second simulation of the game brought to you again by Tata, multinational conglomerate. Look out for the upcoming Tata regatta. We're going to be out on the boats eating for Tatas and hitting pinatas. Thank you to Tata. Luke, your thoughts on the first five overs of the Firehawks? Yeah, look, you got to say, Alex Ross, obviously the the uh, the, the danger man that uh, the, the Brown Snakes will be looking to try and take out nice and early in this uh, this ten overs in the in the simulation. Angela Matthews, 
look, this is someone that the Firehawks, they, they touted him coming into this competition. Uh, hasn't produced yet, but given the opportunity at the start, we'll see whether or not he stays there for the remainder of the competition, but here's his opportunity. It might be the plan that Ross go hard and Matthews be there for the 20. Could be. Because if one of those batsmen are here... They're um, in a chance. They're a huge chance. That's right. Luke, I don't know if I want to say it, oh God. but I have to. Begin... <sighs> The, the simulation. simulation. The nation holds its breath. The nation simulation. The world holds its breath. <laughs> oh, hang oh, on. He went one ball. Okay. <laughs> wow. So he got one ball. Keep holding it. <laughs> Can we make sure we get this right? Luke, for the second time. <laughs> that, was, that was very lucky. Begin. Um, the simulation. It's my first time. Oh, that is not a good outcome from the Firehawks. Matthew's gone first ball. Wow. In, in wow. the simulation, and it's basically all downhill from there. John O'Wells, though, putting up a fight, but three for 117, I believe, after 15. It's not going to be enough, you'd have to Change think. But it looks like the, the 17th license may be Patrick. heading to the Bayside. And about time, too. And. Interesting tactic. Malinga bought in for those middle overs to really mm. put some pressure on. Yep, gotcha! Oh, just beat the man to his right. And that'll be four runs. Wells, it's all on his shoulder at this point. 61 from 30. Look, it's not not possible. We've seen stranger, stranger things. things happen in this competition. Oh. The pageantry of a major comeback for the 17th NRL license oh, would just set this tournament up so well. Well, they'll look for, for two. They should get two. Oh, they're not going to risk it. I think at this point they have to, but that'll be Wells' 50. 50. Look, we've seen some good uh, good batting displays in this competition early on, which is always good to see, uh, and, and good bowling here from the Snakes. Might be some concerns, though. A lot of 50s mm. already for some bowling-heavy teams. Yeah, that is a concern. Most of the other teams will be watching this thinking, well, what are we going to do Wait. to make sure... Oh, and that one's expertly saved there in the, that short cover. Malinga, he's bowling he's bowled real well tonight. One for 19 off his off his three and a half. You can't ask for much more from the skipper. Yes. Yep, and just the sling in Sri Lankan. Very experienced in the white ball game. Mm. He knows how to bowl in these crunch time overs. Mm. But this is his last over. Yes. So Nathan Kultanar went for it early on. Does he still have overs remaining? The Firehawks might be looking to target him. Yep, catch! Oh, this might be out. No, it's going to drop short. And they're going to look to just get the one there. And as Malinga says, I'm not touching that, thanks. That's coming in too hot. Michael, uh, have you pick picked up any, um, any chat, any bants between the two teams? No, I've been too busy oh. thinking up my own gear. Yeah. Thanks, Luke. Uh, Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. The fucking brown snakes were whining about something or other. Oh, well, good to know. No, it's not humid enough here. You know, just some bullshit. It's a family show, Michael. If you oh, sorry. Just keep it PC. Are you worried the kids don't know what bullshit means? That's I right. Mean, I have to explain myself. I feel like they know now. 53 from 24. Gorinda Sandu, another forgotten 14. man of Australian cricket. Hasn't got a state contract this year, but again, finds his way into this side. The Brown Snakes seem to be that redemption team. Yes, yes. The policeman from Townsville, Sandu. Shikadawan. Shikadawan. <gasps> yes, catch! He's chipped that, and that should be four runs, and they're going to need every... Oh, it's going to... Yes, it'll make the boundary. They're going to need every single one that they can get from here. The crowd loving that there. See that old mate in the background there giving it the what for. Textbook sort of flick off the pads yeah. there. Ricky Ponting-esque yes. from Gotch. Needs San to really up it here. Yeah, and Sandu has gone the journey so far. As, he, oh, as I say that, he puts it right on the block hole. That slow bouncer. There's your finching. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. None for 26 off two and a half. You might see him at the death here. <gasps> Yes. Oh, they're going to run the six. Yes. On that. Oh, you'd have to say it's good fielding. 
went prevent to the, the fall. Went to the left side of yes. the traditional right arm thrower. So always a run in it. Mm. Good cricket all round. Okay, we probably don't need to see the the response. <laughs> the run, good cricket all round. <laughs> We're going to look at the run up. <laughs> Oh, no, that's going to go down leg this side. looks close. I'm going to say it's going down leg side, but are they going to run two here? They all oh, thought about it. Jeez, there was two there. I'm going to say that's trailed down leg side. And I think as will pericarditis. I think you'll find it was closer than they thought. And the brown snakes are going to go for it here. No, no, no they're not. Well, we've got the power of the, the, the television technology to, uh, to just have a little check. And just Big eye brought to you by Specsavers. <laughs> Tonight's game, the Big Brown Eye. Wow. Yeah. Oh, missing. just missing. Yeah. You thought when it, it, at the point of hitting the pads, you thought it might have gone, but swinging down. <gasps> yep. Gotcha. Oh, that full toss. He's gone the old, uh, tried to go the Yorker. Keep it up. hasn't worked out, but this might be close. This is a good throw. Oh, it needed to be direct. I think he had it anyway. Well, this is starting to look real dire here for the Firehawks. Daniel Worrell. Is coming into the veteran. The See what he has got under the belt. He, he brought on for the, what's that, third last over. He might bowl the 18th and the 20th yeah, here. Catch it! And he gets pantsed on his first ball. Wow. That'll be four runs. This is huge. Okay, 41 huge off from 17. from the Brown Snakes. They've made, look, they've shot their shot and said, right, we're going to give this guy a bit of a go. Maybe seeing that they are so far ahead in this game, try him out, get him into the competition. But yes, yes. a big over here, and it, it might be it might be curtains. They're going to look to run two. No, they'll stick to one, five. They need more runs. They bowl deep, the Brown Snakes, but they mm. use Malinga up early. Mm. So they needed to have to... Or they, they were forced to blood someone late. It's a risky tactic, particularly with Wells on fire here. They need, what, two and a half runs off every single ball? I mean, that's absurd. You want to do Stranger math. things have happened. They really have. You never Johnny know your Wells luck. Wells has been very good. And mid wicket is up, so there's a huge gap. Yep. Oh, and he looks for it, and he's yeah, nah, just hasn't been able to split the gap. Just going to be the one. They need more. Gotch. They need something out of the young fella here. Let's. What has he got? Has to be a boundary. This ball oh, has to be. Has to be. It's not a question anymore. Yes. Catch! Oh, yep. That'll be four. On command. Tim's got it on a string here. Ta ta. They love it. As does Michael. Look at those hips. Uh, just wafting. Just wafting. <laughs> Jesus. It's humid. It hangs in the air. <laughs> uh, Wells did it. Yes, catch it! Back this is going to be another though. fort. Yes, it will be. That's massive. Two overs to go. Oh, wow. They couldn't possibly. 31 off 12. And Sandu. Look. They've brought Sandy on. Look. Um, Anything's possible here. <laughs> yep. Gotcha. That's going to be one, you'd have to think. I mean, he's, he's rocked off the back foot, nearly fallen on his stumps. He's that far behind. This is the over. This You're going to go Sandu into Worrell to yep. finish this game. Yep. The Firehawks. They need something here. They might. They got to pull it out. In here. They've Mid got to pull it out. Mid off are up here. <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh, and the full pitch delivery. Oh, it's a lovely shot. Get an over mid Lovely off. ball. Sorry. And that'll be one run. And I think that's curtains. Surely. Surely that's curtains here. Duraflex. They'll be thinking of their sponsorship. Too bad they're locked in for the contract. <gasps> yeah, oh, that ball had it. to be a boundary. I think we can crown it here. But they're not going to give up. It's a tough road back from 29 off 9. While they've lost the 17th license, there's still a chance to win the simulated online cricket cup. Yep. So, plenty to play for still. Yeah, there's a four. But, uh, oof, it's, it's a tough road they've given themselves. 25 off 8. John O. Wells looking to top score here for the game, if you can keep this up. Yep, gotcha! And that'll be four again. Has it got past? It has. It has. It's beaten the man. 28, 21, sorry, off seven. Oh. 
It can't be done. It can't be done. Surely not. Surely. Surely not. We can't we can't be witnessing what we Did think we're witnessing. They've left them out. we said this. They left themselves short with their bowling. Wait there. Oh, oh. <laughs> well. Well In the end, Sandu went for it all uh, the all money shot. And then finally put it together on the last ball when they needed. Twenty-one. Off the last over required. Yes, yes. Oh, he's gone big. Is this going to be caught? I think it will be. He's coming around. This is either going to be dropped or yeah! it's caught. And Colton Isle, he takes the, the vital wicket of Zeb Go Seb Gotch. And that is the game you'd have to think. Worrell, oh, he'll be happy with that one. We said that a 44 kilometer wind up would have an impact. And the ball has stayed up in the air long enough. For Colton Isle to get in under it, what a catch! Oh, he didn't look he's confident taking, under He's them. taken it around the his dick. It's an interesting uh, catching technique Call there. Out. But we've come to love that part of that about uh, sport, the uh, simulated online cricket cup. The pageantry. The pageantry. And Stewie brought in at six. Now you've you've said you don't want to rely upon him. I didn't want to rely on him, wow. but here we are. <laughs> here we are. To. He's going to have to go four sixes. Here we go. Oh, and he has oh, he has dotted it. Classic Stuart Broad. Couldn't couldn't be any more. Oh. 21 off four. This game is as good as over unless there's some sort of no ball wide catch. scenario. He's chipped it. And this is what happens when Stuart Broad is your number six batsman. Yeah. Yeah. They will be scratching their heads back at headquarters at F, uh, FH, wondering how they got it wrong in the draft. But, uh. Oh! oh, oh there we go. Stuart Broad going for a duck on a. Absolute peach. He's got to go, though. Well, he backed away. Yeah, he had, he to, had go to go for it. He backed away. He him. backed away. There's nothing you can do there. He's tried to give it everything. And Stewie is going for a duck, and that will, that'll will wrap up the first game of this uh, this competition. Is coming into bat One more. Two more. At number seven. Unless we get a uh, Hilton Cartwright-esque oh, nine ball, ball over. Oh. Well, this could be out as well. Jeez, that's close. I want to say it's missing, though. And so does, so does Filkins. Skipper. I think there might have been a hint of bat, but we'll see if they'll go for it. I mean, here. why would you not? No, nope, they're going to save it. They're going to save, save their match for review for the last ball, <laughs> just in case. But I want to say, yes, that's very much. Oh, okay. I mean, it's hit him nowhere near it. Yeah. It looked a lot closer But a life. double wicket maiden for Worrell. I mean, discuss. If he can pull this off. Yep, catch! There you go. Just the one run. You know what? That is a contender for the BDE player of the match right there. Talk about, yeah, absolutely. And one over the shoulder, despite it never going over the hip. <laughs> Michael Vilkins. Sandu, he's in the winning column. The Bayside Brown Snakes, they've won by 19 runs, but most importantly, they will be the 17th team in the NRL. Heard it first. Everyone get behind the Bayside Brown Snakes. They take out the first match of simulated online cricket cup presented by Sporting Woods Podcast. Yeah, so I have a quick look here at the scores. So you said Jake Carter, the 66, he top scores for the game. And he also takes out the the uh, the sock player of the match. Now, that is different to the, the, the Sweezy's, uh, the big dick energy. But it's good to see credit going to the young fella, uh, 66 off 52. That was one thing we had last season in hashtag COVID Cricket 19. The relative unknowns being mm. the top performers. Your That's Jason Sangers. Your Baxter, your Baxter Holtz. Holtz. Your Gay Bells. Mm. Your Charlie Stobos. Oh. Jake Carter's put himself in shot prime position to be that unsung hero. Uh, Speaking in this of, year's though, you got to give a shout out to Daniel Worrell. Two for 15, bowled the last over. I'm going to say it. I'm going to give him the big dig player of the, of the, of the game award. I. I thrust into it yeah. when the game was on the line, was able stance. to come out Look at uh, that. and get his team with a victory. Almost a double wicket maiden in the last over of a T20 match. That's huge. Huge. Including the Seb Gotch, which could have been the difference there. So for that reason, he will receive one point in the big dick energy player of the game or the player of the competition. Player of the tournament. Player of the tournament. Uh Scorecard. All right. So speaking of scorecards, let's have a quick look at them. Obviously, one game in, so not a lot of stats to talk about just yet, but we will have a quick check. So you see there, Brown Snakes winning by 19 runs. All right. As we pull across now, 
remember, as I said at the start of this game, net run rate is going to be vital in this competition. Yes. Being that it is a, a shortened competition. So, um, the, a 0.95, that's going to be hard to come back from. It is, but we have seen big blowout scores uh, in last season. Mm. The problem is you're only playing five pool matches. That's right. So one bad loss can actually be disproportional uh, mm. to your other losses. So not a good start for the Firehawks, losing the 17th license and also the match. Um, but it's still early doors, Luke. Yeah, that's right. So I'm just going to see if I can find the statisticals. Let me just break the game here. There we go. There we go. There we go. As we take a look at the leading run scorers in Pool A, Jake Carter, the relative unknown, sits on top after round one. John O. Wells, Will Pukowski, Alex Ross, all in the thick of it there. And we move over to the bowlers. Daniel Worrell, the BDE player of the match, on top of the leading wicket takers after one introductory game. Sugar Darwin, uh, no, no, I thought he'd taken it over there. So he's a better bowler than Feldman, who. Okay, interesting. <laughs> the algorithms. <laughs> What's the uh, the uh, the lead? He's down the down the bottom. Don't know what the story is there. Oh, I guess his we'll... dad runs the stats table. Yeah, the, <laughs> the wiki keeper's dad makes a lot of sense. Anyway, that brings us to next game. Uh, we will see the mid thanks sir taking on the Huru Poobadoos. In the second game of the first round. The introduction round. The introduction and round. we will be off to Canada, Toronto specifically, mm. the Maple Leaf Cricket Ground. Huge matchup. Uh, both teams playing for the Marathon Man Memorial Plate. More on that in next episode's recording. Any last thoughts? Uh, guys, I've just got a text from my agent. I'm going to be on the next season, the brand new season of the Unicorn Bachelor with me and Sophie Monk. Uh, me and Sophie are going to be looking for a third to join our lovely trio. Uh, men and women, there's going to be roses flying everywhere. This is the most exciting thing I've ever... You got that just on, lo- on on air right now. Oh, I got it on the uh, fifth ball to go, but I didn't want to interrupt the uh, <laughs> That's fair. last couple of balls. But yeah, I haven't been... Who? What? Oh my God, is that the score? Oh no. Oh are no. Are you checking your phone? You know what? I got to call my bookie. You're, you're- <laughs> you were on the brown snakes. Oh no, you were on the firehawks. Yeah, I see it from them both. I mean, like... Was I, if I've got I 20 on, on both of them, then I can't. <laughs> yeah, then it cancels out. That's right. Oh, my God. All right. With that in mind, we are going to finish it up for the first game. As we said, we'll be back shortly for the mid-thanks, sir, and the Huru Poobadoos. Good night.